Vlogmas day two. Vlogmas day two, man. What's up, man? It's your boy Kang back in the building with another video, man. Vlogmas day, Vlogmas day two. Uh, whole new, whole new wolf, whole new mindset, whole new attitude. You know, whole new. It's December, so you know what I'm saying. It's December. Got a few things, you know, written down on the calendar, but, you know, more than that, you know, today, I got some very important things I got to do, but I'm just getting home from work. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, and um, I definitely got to give y'all some, you know, some bangers coming up soon, but right now, I just got off work, and I just been working out a little bit, really, um, you know, trying to get my body, you know, in line, um, but it's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be doing uh, this this month. Like, just stay tuned for it, bro. Um, I'm not tired yet. Usually, when I get home after a long day at work, I'm not really that tired no more. But in about an hour or something, I may be. You know, in about an hour, I start getting real tired and. You know, get to that point. Yeah. Crazy part is I just don't got no, I just don't got no content to really vlog. Um, I lost some connections that I had, you know, not too long ago. I lost some connections, so I got to build more connections. I've got people, bro, that, you know, but it's just like, I got to, I got to keep, uh, Keep my eyes forward, keep my keep my mind on the prize, which is leveling up and just uh being my best self. Um Surprisingly enough, I'm not tired at all, bro. That's just a consequence of work schedule changing over and over again. And uh, I'm totally okay. All right, so look, you two. It's your boy, Kenny, in the building, man. And what I'm about to do is I'm about, I just, I just text, you know, Hannah, on my phone, um, through, you know, I text her, right? Through, uh, I text her through Instagram. I don't know if that's her phone in the, in, you know, in the dining room area or if she got it with her, but, you know, it's, it's vlogmas, so I'm turning it up a notch. And I don't care, nobody say, bro. What do you mean by that? I'm turning it up a notch on purpose because it's vlogmas, and, I wanted to know if she would do a prank with me on Prince and on Giselle and whoever else, you know, come up, come. But if she don't say nothing by the time she get back, I'm going to say it to her. But that's the thing. I'm going to have to put the camera up and I'm going to have to get the footage. Uh, and I got to think about how I'm going to do that. Cause my whole thing was to either have her come in my room or have her come inside the bathroom or me and her flirt with each other for like a little, you know, piece of the night. And then I grab her by her hand or something and bring her to my room or to the bathroom, right? And then we just start making noises, right? And then make them, everybody else think that, you know, you got something going on, I think they're bad. I'm a straight, cause you know it's vlogmas, so I'm turning this shit up no matter what at this point. Like, yeah. uh, cause Prince gotta understand it's vlogmas, bro. Like, 
Giselle had in here. So I already, I don't know if that's Hannah phone, mm -hmm. but I texted her on Instagram. So she might not have got it. They went to uh, Chip Chipotle. Yeah, one of them shits. But I told her in the message, I'm like, you want to prank P and Giselle? And she ain't right back yet. So if not, I'm going to say it when she get back. But basically, we're going to be flirting in front of Giselle and Prince for about a portion of the day, about 10 minutes. Get that, you feel me? Get that shit to where they like, what's going on, right? Then I'm going to fuck around and grab her by the hand and bring her in my, either in my room <laughs> or bring her in the bathroom. I am the one, the way your time don't and then we're going to start making noises on the wall and she's going to be moaning and shit or we're doing whatever she want to do. <laughs> I want to say yes, just because it's like, why would, yeah, why would, like, well, I mean, I am a freaky nigga, but why would you do that? Why would you say no? But but it is on some, like, uh, nah, nah, I don't see nothing wrong. It's vlog, bitch, you feel me? I don't see nothing wrong right now. I'm going to just see. Like, I'm going to just check out the scene with that one. Mm -hmm. But I'm about to start. I'm about to start going so crazy, bro. I got work at 11, so I'm probably about to order some. <laughs> That's a fact, bro. All right, bro. Damn. Yo, this shit. We gonna see what's going on, bro. Damn. 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 So if not, this is what I'm gonna do, right? I'm just so sneaky, right? That I'm gonna just find a way to write, write it down. Or, oh, I got a bet. I got a couple ideas. I got a couple ideas. Wait, wait, y'all talking about a pussy? A ser a service? Yes. <laughs> Prince, Prince, you seem pretty disinterested in this topic right now. Oh, okay. He's the one who asked me to tell this story, okay? Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about yes, holes and... We're explaining IUD insertion. IUD, yeah. okay. We are giving an anatomy lesson. We're explaining IUD insertion. Oh, do you care if the vlog is on? You know what? I mean, if you want this on the vlog, it's a little yeah. graphic. But... I don't care. It's vlogmas day two, so... Okay, yeah. you, you guys ready to learn about IUDs? IUDs, yeah. I'm so scared. So, <laughs> okay. So this thing, imagine something a little bit thicker than this. Right. Going into your urethra, yours. Imagine. I'm gonna scream like a bitch. That's what I did. <laughs> because the hole that's in the cervix is about the same. What is the cervix? Yeah. So the cervix, 
you know, all like, the way in the back of the pussy. It's a, yeah, that's what sometimes you hit. Like if you feel something like hit in the yeah, back of your pussy, I that's your that service. Oh, I, hate, I hate that shit. A couple and times. so that's basically the opening to your service. That's that's the opening. She's bringing the wolves. Yeah, you tell me. Oh, no. So it's an in, internal opening. Yeah. Internal organ. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is not supposed to ever have anything go into it. We're just supposed to hit it, right? No, you're not supposed to hit it. That shit hurts. What? Do oh, not hit the cervix. No. That's when her body jerk like that. That's when she's like, "Ow, what the fuck?" Oh no, nah, I don't think I be. I'm mean, sometimes. Which is high as fuck right now. Cause sometimes. that's when that's when she's but like, "Ow, been, what the fuck?" Yeah, I don't been in there. And she was like, "This is my spot." Oh my god. You know? That's not the cervix is not the spot. The G spot. The cervix is not the G spot. Okay. Cervix in di different areas. I'm fucking up. <laughs> anyway. I'm going, I'm going anyway, no, I'm just schooling you. It's okay. It's okay. What do you mean by that? Okay. We all gotta learn this. So, this stick is like this long, okay? Mm -hmm. All this long, a little bit thicker than this. She, she's like, okay, this is gonna hurt a little bit. This is gonna hurt. This part is what's going to hurt. She said a little bit. Right. <laughs> Set you up. I was holding my roommate's hand. And as soon as she had this thing this far, your roommate was in the room with you? As soon as she had this, yes. That's a real friend. Yes, she had this thing this far in my cervix, and immediately I had the worst contraction I've ever had in my life. This isn't a period cramp. This is a full-blown contraction. My entire uterus said, and I screamed. And I kept screaming because it kept going. I'm telling you, this stick was this long, this much of it went into my uterus. Mm. I was okay. screaming, I was like, fuck, 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 <laughs> the fucking doctor's office. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> All the other opposite, all the people in the other rooms are probably like, what the fuck are they doing to her yeah, there? Yeah, they're killing her like. Then she, so she measures it, then she has to take that back out, mm -hmm. and then stick the IUD in. Mm -hmm. So then she does it again. And the IUD, I don't know if you've ever seen one. It's like a T. It's a T shape. But in order to put it in, they put the arms of the T down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the end of the inserter has a trigger on it. Mm -hmm. So they stick that in and then pull the trigger and it pops out in your uterus, bro. What? They got mad gadgets and I shit. That's just so like sobbing. <laughs> yeah. Sobbing. And they don't do any kind of like numbing or anesthesia or anything. They gave me no pain pills, no nothing. That's like that is, I'm telling you, here you go for comparison. That was the second worst pain I've ever felt in my life. The first worst pain was when one of my ovaries twisted. Imagine twisting, like, a testicle, not your ball, like, the, te the testicle inside your fucking ball sack. Right. Imagine that twisting. That should be hurting sometimes. Right? You have to get surgery to get that shit corrected. That my uncle had to get one of me. Yeah. <laughs> like, so Yo. Just, what the fuck? Like, just imagine going through all that with no fucking pain medicine. It is barbaric. It is absolutely barbaric. But you know what? Yeah. I'd do it again. Yeah, do it again. It saved my first IUD saved my life. Like saved my life utterly. Because my periods were so debilitating that like I would pass out and be throwing up and like 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 for a week straight every single yeah. month be in so much pain I could not walk, my legs would go numb. Yeah. So what this did was like it halted my cycle okay. so that I, I don't have them anymore and I can have an actual quality of life. So yeah. I would absolutely do it again. I just want to say Hannah's actually very uh, bold and very, uh, you know, a good person for with the humility and honesty that she uh, put in this video. And I'm pretty sure all of y'all could take some pointers from this uh, video that she's schooling. Not just me, but all of us on, you know, the importance of, you know, doing things in life that's beneficial for your future. Even if it caused you a little bit of pain here and there, you know, I think she need to be appreciated for the bravery, you know. So I just had to say that. Back to the vid. Some people pass out. I felt like I was gonna pass out. I got so dizzy. 
I got so fucking busy. That's a good story time. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah. There you go. I don't know your sex education today. some content. <laughs> some sex education. <laughs> But y'all have babies and shit, so it's like. Yeah, but. Like, I think babies can kill you. Yeah. Yeah. You can die from, from having really a baby. Yeah, you. Yeah, you can die. People get ripped from vagina to asshole when they have babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Legit. Like, yeah. Which is why I have an idea because I want to have kids. You don't want. I'm not gonna have kids. I'm gonna. That's crazy. No. It, it goes, I will adopt. I will adopt. And I want to have a thousand kids. A thousand. Well, I think I'll have like two and like when I'm like 32. Yeah. 30. Sounds like a good number. I'm trying to have like 10 tomorrow. 10 tomorrow? On, 10 on Wednesday. Oh, what's up? What, what age do you have? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. That's younger than me. I'm 26. I'm, I'm old out here. I'm 20. How old are you right now? 19. Wow. You gonna change your mind? No. <laughs> I mean, things earlier or later? Earlier. Later. I hope. For your sake, later. 22. Y'all don't. I would not know. Get he want a cat. He want a cat. I don't like cats. Cats are great. I mean, I love cats. They cute and all that. You should meet my cat. I hate and them. I hate cats. cats. I my hate cat's a, My cat is a dog. He's a dog? My cat's a dog. <laughs> okay. She, I'm telling you, she sits on command. Yeah. She shakes paws. She goes in a circle. What? She used to walk on a leash. That's a cat. She's, I, a, she's a dog. Yeah, that's that's a that's a cat that I would love. She's so social, too. Like, we'll have Wayman burgers come over and shit. And uh, she'll just, like, hang They could be. Little sometimes. Exactly, and you can't say anything because they're attacked. Yeah, that's just what they do. I think that's what Prince liked about him on the low. He used to have a cat, and he used to, he remember that time the cat fucked up the crib and the bread and shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't even peeing that shit because I ain't gonna lie. What you say, good? You still remember when your cat fucked up something, but I didn't catch the last part. What was the cat name again? Tigger. Tigger. Oh, cute. Yeah, man. We were just some jits. But take it. But, um. We gonna play a game. I know y'all eating and stuff, my bad. Oh, yeah, we're gonna play a game. Do you wanna play a game? Yeah. Let's have you ever played Jackbox games? Jackbox? It's like where you connect with your phone and everybody in the room and play the game. It's like on the TV, and, uh, like the mainstream's on TV, and you play with your phone, and then everything pops up on TV. All you have to do is go to the website, it's really fun. <laughs> okay, so that's the room code. 